All right, guys, welcome, welcome back to the IMAX YouTube channel. I'm your host, JD. If you're new, please do smash the like button, share, and definitely subscribe. If you're an avid member of the channel, keep on sharing the contents far and wide. We really and truly appreciate you guys. So as you, you could see by the title, why is it um, so complicated to actually get a full raster um, concrete out for the Jamaica Reggae Boys? We're going to go through a few things just to educate you on the difficulties um going um going through um maybe the coach i may argue him since ed and why the listing never came out earlier all right obviously you know that they have two games in astria um at this point all right so let me get to something now we're going to start with the fifa window the fifa window that um presents for um players to leave without the club um can actually stop them would um, be the 24th of June until the 16th of July. That is the CONCACAF Gold Cup window. Before that, nobody can leave without the permission of the, the actual um, teams. And the reason why we're talking about that, you could get um, JPL players um because their season finishes english players because their finish their season finishes um but you can't get the mls players all right yes so that is one of the difficulties that i do believe and um the next rule is once you listed your squad you cannot chop and change the actual squad all right so for instance your 50 players that jamaica named um they can't go outside at 50 all right and they might not want to give everyone plane ticket to get that thing done because maybe someone injured on the the last day so they want to make sure they try to push it as further as possible to see if ever, everyone is fully fit then they could actually avoid mistakes like the greg lee um situation all right so let me give you some information here um we have javian brown um damian low um andre blake Alvas Powell, Corey Burke, there, uh, Ian Free, all of them playing in the MLS. So what that says to me, it looks like we have to we have to really um, rely on a lot of MLS players. Hence why they have to wait as long as possible because MLS have games right throughout even the Gold Cup itself. But remember, they can stop you until the Gold Cup. So they are going to make deals with these players in order to uh, get things done. So um, the um, Philadelphia Union and those clubs has games um, right before, which is the 22nd. So I expect most of those guys if they're going to come and play they're going to leave late to catch up with um the squad so that's what i think stopping a lot of these guys from actually coming in and maybe the squad picking because most of us when we pick up picked our 23 we had a lot of those guys inside it um, and i forgot even taxi all right so you have six seven if not eight players coming from the mls all right yes and their season is pretty much in ripe form at this point and that is the problem so let me know your thoughts in the comment section because we have the, we have laid out every single thing the rules between CONCACAF, um the the rules between the mls the rules between fifa and also the availability on time all right so let me know your thoughts in the comment section smash the like button share and subscribe peace out see you later